Those are the types of testimonies and revelations that they get abundantly. Almost everybody has a problem with demons, devils, death, dying. You know, it's always in that direction. They're always afflicted. There's always a problem for their job not going well. The business not going well. There's a demon tying their life, tying your children, tying the family. The, all this kind of stuff, man. What is this nonsense? After Jesus came and died, and the point is, it's not. It's not like it's a lie. In in its presentation, in other words, it's not like whoever is testifying is lying about what his experience, okay? Nor even the minister who may have such a revelation of ministration is not lying either. The problem is, why are these people always in that condition? <laughs> then you have people who only see visions of demons. Every time they see a revelation, a dream, it's about demons, some devil is fighting them, some evil spirit is doing something to them. They're always seeing those kind of dreams. And it's an actual experience. Do you realize that you could even be in that situation where you are experiencing something like that? You'd be surprised. It happens to Christians. They can experience those kind of things. Dead people always appear to them. Always appear to them and call them, come. <laughs> Join us, you know. And then you have those who have things like continuous miscarriages. Because when they're pregnant, a demon appears and says, give me the child. And takes away whatever it is from their womb. And then the next day, there's a miscarriage. Because in their dream, something appeared and took away the baby. And these are all believers, Christians, we just read something. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Why are you the one always having this type of dreams? And you think it is prophetic. <laughs> See, the Bible is clear as to what the Christian life should be. And it can go from glory to glory with greater manifestations and miracles of God. All right? But God's word should always be your foundation and standard. You are delivered today from demons. You're going to be delivered again next year. Delivered again. Why are certain people always getting delivered? The fact is... They are ignorant of the word of God. Let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Suppose you were going through some difficulty in your life. Maybe your job or your finances or your family or your health. And then you saw this demon that's tying, tying your, your money. Okay? And is pulling your money away. What are you going to do about it? I'm asking you, what are you going to do about it? What should you do? In fact, he is in trouble for showing up. I mean, if you know the word of God. But if you're ignorant, then you say, hey, I found the problem, I know that problem. And you start crying. But if you know the word of God, that devil is in trouble for showing up in the first place. You say, devil, you get up. 
not so. He wouldn't wait. Never allow yourself to become frustrated by demons. Demon spirits are real because the Bible tells us they exist and they're not sleeping. They're active. They do a lot of stupid things, wicked things. But we must have them disciplined. You get it? Under our feet. We must subdue them. We must not cry about what they're doing to us. We can take care of business. Amen? Amen. Sure, 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 sure. I was saying to you that what you see is what you get. And it's so important that you learn to see from God's perspective. See from God's point of view. See from God's point of view. See what God shows you. God's visions come in his word. His visions come in his word. Now, that's a big statement. Which I had time to explain it in its various shades. But 